We are looking back at how so much life has changed because of 9-11. For example, if you caught a flight before that day, you know just how different the experience is now. THV 11's Ian Russell shows us more about the rules and how they've changed in the air since that fateful day. Traveling by plane hasn't looked the same since 9-11. As we hit 20 years since the September 11th attacks, things have changed to keep us safe when we fly. The lifelong pilot, Harry Barrett. But I knew that it was going to change aviation forever. The September 11th attacks flipped his industry upside down. And of course, they immediately shut all flying down and we were grounded. We were grounded for about a month. What used to be normal. We could take people over to the terminal, drop them off to catch a flight. Would never fly after 9-11. Can't do that anymore. <laughs> so it was very, it was very convenient back then. But it's not just rules for small craft pilots like Barrett that changed. If you've flown in the past 20 years, you worked with the Transportation Security Administration, the TSA. They used to come and pick me up at the terminal. I would grab my nieces, who were twins, and we'd go off and, and start our trip and no more. Patricia Mancha is the spokesperson for the Arkansas Division of the TSA. There's not just one thing that you can point to to say, this is the one thing we've done. She says in the 20 years since 2001, so much has changed, all to keep us safe in the air. We had somebody who tried to bring on um, a, a liquid explosives in a soda bottle, so then the 3.4 ounces. So there's a reason for all of the things that we do. More restrictions, more paperwork, but we can deal with it. We've dealt with it for 20 years now, so it's something we've grown used to. So while everything about air travel is different now. Yeah, we've learned to live with it, you know. That's like, uh, you know, I guess when the Wright brothers flew, they didn't even have a license. <laughs> now we do, so we've had to learn to deal with it. Maybe that's a good thing. But ultimately, it all ju just comes down to assuring that uh, we don't let down our guard and work to try to make sure that something like this doesn't happen again. In Little Rock, I'm Ian Russell, THV 11 News.